Hi, I'm Doc Shear, Smile Doctor, and I'm a dentist based in the Philippines, and I recently got fully vaccinated with Pfizer vaccine. And today, I'm not gonna vlog about teeth, but I'm gonna share with you my vaccination experience, the side effects that I felt from day one of my first dose up until my second dose, some tips, and my thoughts about getting vaccinated. So if you are interested about this topic, keep on watching! Expect that there are forms to be filled up, so I suggest to bring your own ball pen and sanitizer. <laughs> I'm a dentist and I give injections, but this is my secret and tell me I'm not the only one who is also afraid with needles Plus, I have a low pain tolerance Although the shot was fast, but I felt this thing and since I have a low pain tolerance It hurts and for a moment my arm felt paralyzed just glad it was over my vaccination card was given to me in here. You can find the vaccine brand that was injected and the date of your second dose. This is very important, so keep it in a safe place. There are also post-vaccination instructions informing you of the side effects that you might experience, the medications that you can take, and so on. Meanwhile, a few hours after my vaccination, I treated myself with this BTS meal that has been blowing up my news feed. So to break my curiosity, I decided to try it. It was good. I like the sweet chili sauce. Um, how about you? Have you tried it already? <laughs> By 9 p.m., I felt tired but not sleepy. So I just went to bed and tried to sleep. I just woke up. It's 5 a.m. I kept on twisting and turning because I usually sleep on my left side. So it was uncomfortable to sleep and from time to time I felt pain in my arm. I feel cold but my body temperature is a bit hot. A few moments later. My body feels tired right now. The injection side hurts and I cannot fully move my arm sideways, forward or upwards. Only up until this point because beyond it, it would really hurt. And right now I have a headache. But the discomfort is really tolerable, so I don't feel the need to drink any pain relievers. I can perform normal day-to-day -day activities, though I have a mild fever, I still have a normal appetite. One eternity later. I still have a mild fever and headache, and my arm is still painful to touch, but I can now move it more freely. Eventually. I feel much better now, I am fully recovered, no more fever, no more headache. No more pain on my arm, and I can move it in full motion. Oh no! A few hours after my vaccination, I felt normal except for my painful arm. Day two, woke up with a headache body ache body weakness my arm was sore but not as bad as what i felt on my first dose because now i am able to move my arm freely or in full motion so i just took paracetamol to counteract any symptoms day three same symptoms so i just took paracetamol again and day four which is today i'm fully recovered no more body ache headache and actually i'm feeling great in spite of being afraid of getting injections i chose to get vaccinated because i want to be protected and safe most especially my job requires direct contact with the patient's mouth and the risk of contracting covid19 is very high even though we are fully covered with our covid battle gears we follow strict infection control protocols and even bought equipments to lessen the spread of aerosol. I still think this isn't enough. How about you? Are you ready to get vaccinated? Share your opinions about this COVID vaccine 
in the comment section. If you are watching this, I hope you'll also get your COVID vaccine not only to protect yourself but also to protect the people around you. We all want to go back to our normal lives, right? Don't you miss to travel, to go out worry-free and hang out? I do, so I hope and pray that this crisis will end soon because a lot of people and businesses are already affected by this pandemic. Let us all look forward to a better future. If you think this video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So don't forget to eat healthy and smile nicely. Stay safe, everyone. See you on my next video. Bye!